Hi right, guys, just back with another video. So uh, we're about four months elect uh, away from the presidential election in the United States. Uh, mostly I talk about Canadian politics, but because we are getting close and because I'm a huge supporter of Robert Kennedy Jr., I'm going to start ramping up the coverage on him, trying to promote him as much as I can. Uh, so we're going to have a look at this uh, video here. It's called Americans Deserve a Better Choice. So let's uh, have a look at what Mr. Kennedy has, uh, has to say, and then we'll talk about it after like usual. Joining me now is uh, independent presidential candidate Robert Francis Kennedy Jr. And it's a well, it is a pleasure to have him back on the show. It's great to see you, sir. Sager, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Uh, so, you know, we watched your real debate. Uh, it was garnered views by millions of people. We have some uh, video from that, actually. And we wanted to talk to you a little bit about your decision uh, to participate and to hold this event, uh, which happened outside of the mainstream media system, which consequently was still watched by millions, and what it was like to be excluded then from the CNN debate, and what you, why you decided to throw that independent event. Well, you know, I, there was seventy-one percent of the American people wanted me on that debate stage, and um, and I, I qualified for the debate by the criteria. I qualified better than any other candidate. Let me put it that way: by the criteria that CNN uh, established. Uh, we think that that debate was an illegal campaign contribution by CNN to those two candidates. I don't know if the FEC will hold them responsible or not since it's dominated by those two parties. But, but we thought Americans deserve another, another choice and, uh, you know, and, and, a, and a, and a view of the, of the issues that really should be talked about the issues that those, that these two candidates will never talk about the division in our country, which is tearing our country apart, which they can't address because they're feeding on it and they're products of it. And they can't talk about making government honest again. And I, you know, I said this later during the debate that the day I get into office, I'm going to issue an executive order that any federal official who lies to the American people will immediately lose their job. President Biden, President Trump can't do that. They were both up there telling lies. So I, uh, I thought the Americans deserved something and other than the debate they were going to get from CNN. See, again, you know, guys, this is just why like, it was a very short clip. I understand that. But you look at what he said just at the end of that video, an executive order on day one. You lie to the public. You are gone from public office just like how it should be right and this is what i mean you know and 71 percent of americans wanted robert kennedy on the debate stage 71 percent. that doesn't mean he's going to get 71 percent of the vote it just means people want to hear him speak they want to hear his ideas and they want to hear his answers to questions that were asked to donald trump and joe biden where they either couldn't get a sentence out or they were too busy lying all the time Robert Kennedy, if you haven't seen the real debate, go over to X, have a look at it. I believe as, as of now, it's got like 12 million, 13 million views. Go check it out. Listen to this real candidate who actually will <clears throat> hold politicians and agencies like the CIA and the MIC and the DOJ, for example, accountable. Right. And you know, the other thing, too, is that we... Robert Kennedy made a good point where he said he should have been allowed because the criteria that was made by CNN said that they he had to have uh, enough ballot access to hit 270 electoral votes, and he did. But the problem is, is a lot of those states, when they got the signatures and they got the paperwork filled out, all of a sudden it was, oh, sorry, there's a delay in processing it. So technically, by the time the debate started, Robert Kennedy Jr. was out of luck because the states were taking so long to approve his ballot access. Now, since then, there's been no delays. Obviously, that's kind of weird, right? He's on the ballot in Texas, in New Mexico, and a bunch of other states. Like, he will be on all 50 ballots, it really looks like, which is amazing. And, you know, another great point that he made was Americans deserve a better option. A lot of people complain about this two-party system or the uniparty, whichever you want to call it. We need a better option. We need a new voice. We need someone with different ideas. Well, here's not only a great candidate, it's a Kennedy. 
and I'm not saying you, your politics merit your name, but name recognition does help in terms of popularity. And if you listen to his ideas and then you go back and listen to his dad's and his uncle's ideas, very, very similar. And people loved his dad and his uncle. That's why they did what they did to his dad and uncle, because they were actually going to be or were on the way of being a really, really good president who actually care about the American people. And this is what we need, guys. This is what we need. We do not need four more years of Biden, four more years of Trump, or some rhino Republican, or some corporate Democrat. We don't need this shit anymore. We've had enough. It's been how many, 100 years, 150 years since a non-Democrat or non-Republican was in office? Guys, you know, I've heard this my whole life. If you don't vote, you can't complain. But yet then you have people who vote Democrat or vote Republican. They've gotten their way at some point. And in in somewhere in the last eight years, you, you've got your way and you still complain. So why is it okay for you to vote, get your way and complain? But someone like me who before now did not have another option. So of course we're going to complain. We're going to complain with the Uniparty. Oh no, you didn't vote, so you don't get to say, yes, we do. Now there is no excuse to vote, because if you feel like me or if you feel like the Uniparty sucks and that Trump and Biden are basically the same thing other than personality differences, you now have someone else to vote for. So now, fair enough, if you don't vote, you can't complain. But if you were voting for Democrat, 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 or Republican, Republican, or Republican, you've voted, got your way, complained, and then voted for the same thing. Same up here in Canada. People who vote for Trudeau and they're like, oh, this country is really uh, you know, falling apart. Who should I vote for next? Hmm, Trudeau. That does not make any sense. To vote, get your way, and then complain. And look at someone else who doesn't have enough, like another real party to vote for, like me. There's no libertarian party here in Canada. There's a populist party, but their leader sucks. It's very unpopular. So it's like, okay, I'm going to throw away my vote to them or just stay home. And then people say I don't have a right to complain because of that. Now, to be fair, this time I'm going to be voting conservative, so I will be taking uh, taking part. But enough with this. If you don't vote, you can't complain. Well, I go out and vote, get my way, and then complain. That makes no sense. Either way, guys, I just wanted to you know make this video just to you know continue to show people how brilliant, how genuine and how much this guy cares about America and American citizens. Trump and Biden don't. The GOP and the DNC don't. They're worried about their own interests. Robert Kennedy is also worried about his own interest. His own interest just happens to be America and the American people. So please keep that in mind. We're a few months away from my American listeners. If, you, if you're still undecided, please really, really consider Robert Kennedy if you haven't. And if you have, just take some time and reconsider him again, because I'm telling you, he is the best presidential candidate in my lifetime, and he needs to have at least one term to see what he can do. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I'm a Republican, I didn't get my way, or I'm a Democrat, I didn't get my way. If Trump wins, the Democrats are going to go nuts, and if Biden wins, the Republicans are going to go nuts. If Robert Kennedy Jr. wins, maybe they'll be upset, but let's be honest. Most Democrats and Republicans would have Robert Kennedy as their second choice anyway. And considering your first choice, whether you're Republican or Democrat, have both had uh, four years in office, give Robert Kennedy a chance. I guarantee he'll be so much better, so much better for the country just in every single way. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I always try to reply as, as quickly as I can, and I do enjoy reading those. Please also don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really, really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.